tires. We've never seen a bike without them. This week on Tech Tip Thursday, how to choose a tire for your e-bike. Matt. Yes, Joe. There's quite the array of tires here. We've got sure small, do. we've got big. Tell me what might factor into, I guess, choosing a bike and why might you look at what tire would be on a bike you're looking at? Yeah, a lot of people don't think about the actual tire that comes with the bike and how important that is when selecting a bike. And three things sort of matter for that bike feel with the tire. The diameter, the size of the tire, the width of the tire, and then the tread on the tire. And let's talk about diameter, Jody. I think you've got, you're over there by one of our smallest diameters. Tell me about diameter. How does that play into uh, how a bike rides and why do you have di different diameters? Well, you can obviously see that this 20 inch tire on the Risa Mueller Load 75 roll off high speed is pretty unique. On cargo bikes in particular, this is an area where we see um, on quite a few models, the Turin GSD, the Beno Boost, a little bit of a smaller wheel size than you normally would on a, a different, a non-cargo e-bike. Um, the reason being that when you have cargo, say in this load, you've got kids or heavy cargo going in and out of this box in the front, it's nice to have that weight lower, um, a lower center of gravity, and then also just the ease of kids going in and out of the bike is helpful for safety and just for overall logistics as well. Um, that size translates also into something like a commuter bike setup. So you're not going to typically see a 20 inch tire on a commuter bike, but you will see different diameters. Um, this Nevo Reese Mueller Nevo is a small, the smallest size of the Nevo, and this is the bike that I would ride at 5'2", and it comes with a smaller diameter tire on it as well. So this is a 26 inch tire versus a 28 inch on this Gazelle Ultimate. What I would appreciate with this 26 inch, in addition to it being a little smaller and more nimble, maneuverable on the streets, it's also a little bit wider than this 28 inch on the Gazelle. So for me, I like being able to go into gravel, maybe on some light dirt roads, and this width will handle a little bit better um, in addition to the smaller wheel putting me as a smaller rider. Matt, what do you got over there? Well, I think I think mountain bikes, that also comes into play. Uh, there's there's Wheel size and mountain bikes are always changing what's preferred. This is a 27 5 inch versus 29 inch uh, diameter and same sort of thing. The little smaller diameter is going to give you more maneuverability on the trail whereas the larger diameter a little bit uh, I'd say almost smoother rolling, faster rolling, carry your speed a little bit more. And then the other big thing with mountain biking is the width. And this 27.5 has a 2.8, it's sort of known as a plus tire, whereas this 29 is a 2.6, uh, sort of a, a, a mid plus, so you could almost still say a plus, but just a little bit narrower. I, when I rode this 27.5 plus for the first time a couple years ago on a bike, I was blown away. It was so soft and comfy, felt like powder down the trail. It gave me lots of confidence, lots of grip, and I thought it'd be the last tire I ever rode as far as width goes. Then I tried the 29 by 2.6 and that, that just that seems like this is now sort of the perfect width for me and that it carries the speed a little bit more. I still get a lot of the benefits but it's probably my preference. If you are a little bit small riding, say for you maybe Jody on a mountain bike, the 29 diameter might be too big for you. So for people choosing the bike we can kind of help you select a bike with the proper uh, diameter and width of tire. Tread. Let's throw that out there. <laughs> Tell me about, I'm looking at the mountain bikes come with knobby tires. I remember what, should, should all e-bikes come with knobby tires? That's a good question, and one that I used to say yes to. Um, I think I previously thought that why not have a knobby tire on an e-bike when you have the e-assist. Now my line of thinking has changed just in terms of safety. And for a rider that's primarily going on pavement, it is going to be safer to have a slick tire where you'll have more surface area of that tire on the road as you're riding compared to a knobby tread. So if you're thinking about um, where you might be riding, that might factor into your, your decision as well. The efficiency, say this little bit of a skinnier tire, a little bit of a um, wider diameter tire, and then also just the tread being slick, that's going to be a really efficient tire, but it probably won't handle well on gravel or as well as the Nevo. So there's all sorts of applications for riding and all sorts of tires for it. We're here to help you choose what you might like on your e-bike. Yeah, come give us a call or stop in and we'll find just the right bike and the right tire for you.